Hello everyone. Hi, welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Uh, watch the video till the end. And also, if you are new to this channel, then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon. Today we have a topic with us is what is divesting or divesture? Well, one of the very uh, famous term that is used in the financial industry. Uh, many times this sort of transactions also happens. So we'll try and discuss what is divesting. See, divesting means the action of the organization or government which involves selling or you can say liquidating an asset or subsidiary. It is also known as your divesture or disinvestment. See, divesting is exactly the opposite of acquisition whereby instead of investing acquiring a business tries to exit from the existing investment or asset by selling the same and the company or government organization they are planning to divest its asset subsidiary maybe by doing so as a part of the strategic strategy move of the company it can also be done by you know a streamlining the business unit so that you know the business can focus on its main line of business or it can be done in case where the proceeds from the divesting process are invested elsewhere to earn a higher return on investment so this is basically the process of you can say selling of the or selling in asset and usually the asset divested are closely non core in nature that is those which are not directly used in the main line of the business and the non core assets can take the form of any kind of you can say asset it can be real estate commodities natural resources currencies or securities or maybe factory land property and so on and so forth it may also take the form of the entire subsidiary or holding in another company so the disinvestment usually done by the way of reduction of asset or business through sale liquidation or any other means of attaining certain financial goals or strategic goals so it acts as a great source of injecting the cash in the business without affecting the regular business activities and is a very important strategy in the corporate restructuring and a popular tool used by the business to retire your debt and to reduce the leverage well let's understand the examples on this end let's understand the same with the help of the divestor example let's say let's take off excess bank limited is a commercial bank they are providing branch banking investment banking and payment services so the bank is having a large investment in land parcels and investment in various companies listed on the local bourses so the bank decided to shore up its what we call as the capital base to increase its uh, lending capacity and decided to divest its investment into listed companies and non core assets like no land parcels so by doing so the excess bank succeeded in raising capital and thus we can see that you know the divestor asian limited divestor of the investment is a non core assets to improve its capital base by injecting cash in the business and focus more on its main line of business and thereby deploying its assets to more profitable avenue now what exactly is the purpose see there are multiple motives that makes divestor a viable option for the management to pursue some of them are as follow like you know it enables the business to focus on its core operations or the line of the business where it holds the expertise it is an effective tool for monetizing the assets as divestiture usually results in cash inflow for the business divesting is an effective tool through which the companies can evaluate performance of their various divisions and divest those divisions whose internal rate of return is below the average required rate of return of the business as a whole so let's understand the same through an example of swiss core or swiss corp 
it operates in three business divisions namely in clothing they are into automobile and real estate so the company has an internal rate of return closely around 13% 8 and 15 from its three division now swiss corp has required rate of return closely around uh, let's see if over here what comes the average it is 12% yeah it's 12% so the average is just the weighted average cost of capital you can say vac in such a case by divestion of its automobile division which is generating an internal rate of return 8% the company will be able to utilize the proceeds towards the more profitable division which will result in higher rate of return for the business as a whole so this is sometimes done to improve the shareholders value or due to the informants and en en enforcement of the reg authorities so non alignment of the non core assets with the main line of business the sustained underperformance of the business units which is which is denting overall profitability of the business as a whole and availability of the you can say better opportunities compared with the existing business lines also it motivates the management to divest the existing lines of the business and setting up the new business line now fourth what are the advantage see it helps the business to generate cash from its non core investments which could be better utilized for expansion of the existing business starting a new business line or retiring the existing debt it helps the business to also allocate its resources main line of business and generate higher returns for its shareholders by improving the return on equity now how does the disinvestment process works the divesting is the systematic process it involves commitment on the part of the management it makes very value creative first they what they do is you know they do the review of the portfolio usually it involves review of the entire business portfolio which comprises of analyzing the performance of the each business unit and relevance with the long term business objective second you know identification of suitable uh buyer so once a certain business unit is identified as a part of the divestiture exercise a suitable buyer is identified by taking the service of an investment banking firm which assists in identifying the buyer and the valuation of the business unit which is proposed to be the part of the divesting it is important to note that you know the valuation exercise is undertaken taking into consideration that the derived must be least equal to the opportunity cost of not selling the business unit last is the disintegration once the same is finalized the organization must prepare the disintegration plan and convey the merits of such divestiture clearly highlighting the purpose behind the divesting alone with the information regarding the benefits that will accrue uh, to the organization to both internal and the external stakeholders to ensure the you know positive signal is communicated So lastly on the conclusion note this is an arguably an important strategy tool used by the business but knowing when to divest is extremely difficult to decide and can turn out to be an expensive you know mistake if not done correctly so in today's business scenario companies are usually stalled of capital and divesting is seen as a sure shot liquidity booster as it improves the shareholders uh, return by injecting cash into the business which can either be used for paying the debts from the books of the business which ultimately improves the profitability of the business in question for expansion of the existing business so management must ensure divesting decisions which turns out to be the long term value accretive of the business So that's it uh, for this particular topic if you have learned and enjoyed watching this video please like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates thank you everyone cheers